Welcome to the final fourth of Siggy, the last five levels. Siggy is about to reach its climax as we, uh... I'm not quite sure what exactly we're doing. Something about zombies and mermaid with giant boobies. That apple we bit, uh, is a cute gag because it hurts our character since it's not junk food. But in addition, it's also one of the secret items and it will increase our score. So even though it hurts Siggy, you want to grab it. The cauldrons are basically just those fish that jumped out of the water earlier in the game, except they're, they can be placed in more versatile places, since they don't have to be near water. These pendulums are in a really simple pattern. Uh, these cat creatures jump at us if we get close, so it's best to take them, take them out from far away as we did. The thing about the last fourth of the game is that most of the secret secret items are hidden there, that apple being one of them. But I believe there's, like, three more secret secret items in the final fourth of the game. It's kind of back-loaded in that respect, because almost all of the secret stuff you're searching for is in this last fourth of the game. Assuming you are searching for the secret stuff, which I don't know why you wouldn't try, Assuming you enjoyed the game, it is really short, can be beaten in under 30 minutes quite easily. There's no reason not to go back and get all the secrets, or just get all the secrets the first time through if you're thorough enough. There is one of them that's way harder to find than the others, but for the most part you just have to... You just have to swing your weapon, or rather throw your weapon at everything, until something pops out or something is revealed. Now, I only personally found out about the secret items because after completing the game the first time, I thought it was weird my score percentage was so low, so I went to the main menu and checked the instructions there and it informed me there were secret items that would increase my score, and then I went to look for those. So, uh, time to talk about some minor details in Siggy. You may notice the emblem on Siggy's chest. Uh, it's also the emblem on the shields we pick up that give him a 1-up. It's also the emblem we, we place on markers that act as checkpoints, like this right here. And uh, it's also the emblem that appears on the weenie stands at the end of a level. So I'm quite curious about what that means. Does that mean Siggy stole the emblem from the weenie stores? Does that mean the weenie stores are owned by Siggy? Is it just a cute nod to early 2D platformers where your character's emblem appears on a flag when you finish the level? Is there some dark, sinister conspiracy at work here? I'm very curious. In a different game, this platforming over water with pendulums may be more difficult, but again, the control here is just so perfectly precise, it's really not a big deal. I think we only have uh, two more levels left before the final boss. That's weird to think about. I do hope you've enjoyed watching Siggy. I've certainly enjoyed playing it multiple times. Uh, as you're seeing, the platforming challenges do get a bit more difficult toward the end, but as I've said multiple times throughout the playthrough, the game is easy enough for about anyone to finish it. Oh, this up here, I call this the Busy Forest, because there's just so many goddamn enemies in it. It's ridiculous. There are so many. It screen shakes Bill up in here. But immediately after the busy forest, there's another item right here in the chimney. There we go. But uh, if you have Steam, Siggy is $3 on Steam. If you want to play it on PS4 or Switch, it's $5 on PS4 and Switch. Uh, it's a very satisfying little game. Even though you've watched it just now, it is actually quite satisfying to play because of the screen shaking, the thwompy sound effects and the tight controls, so it's still probably worth playing yourself if you ever find uh, find yourself with the loose change and want to give it a shot. I mean, I can't really think of any obstacles to enjoying it. I think anyone familiar with controllers and video games should be able to play, enjoy, and complete it. Unless this kind of idea bores you, which is fine, but keep in mind it is meant to be simple and straightforward if you're going to play it. As you can see, that's exactly what it is. But, uh, this is level 19, and in this level there are two secrets. The two final secrets, in fact. One of which is the hardest secret to find. And one of which is a bit easier. The boulders on this hill can be hard to jump over because the hill is slanted, but we have so many extra lives at this point, it's fine. Uh, here's one of the secrets, it's this crown right here. 
pretty easy to find, kind of sticks out. And then the next secret is uh, up here shortly. Yeah, right here. So, we don't want to fall down, first of all, because we can't re-enter if we do. But we want to go in this waterfall right here. And that'll teleport us to a secret room. But the final secret collectible, the Golden Lady. That's the hardest one to find, because everywhere else in the game, waterfalls have just been decorative, but in this specific area, the waterfall is a teleportation. Anyway, uh, that's pretty much it for level 19, actually. So we're about to face the final boss, and tank the shit out of him. The final boss is, uh, probably the weirdest part of the game by far. Such a weird decision for a final boss. But you'll see in a moment. So hey, yeah, it's Hulk Hogan. He even does, uh, wrestling moves for some reason. Anyway, this has been Siggy. And, you know, I've, I've pretty much thoroughly discussed Siggy's design at this point. The key word I would use to describe Siggy is satisfying. Uh, this is not a 100% run. It's a 93% run, in fact, because I missed two or three caves. But I did do a 100% one immediately after this one. And I can say, you're not missing all that much. It was just a couple of walls I forgot to hit. There were no more secret secret collectibles or anything like that. Like, I'd be hard-pressed to tell you which walls I missed exactly. Siggy is short and sweet and weird and really easy to pick up and play in an afternoon, like some of my other favorite retro games. Like Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and Kadash. Except it's, I mean, the design isn't like those, but you can pick it up and beat it in a single afternoon easily like those games is what I'm saying. And I will probably do that many times when I have 30 minutes to kill, you know, and nothing else to do. Like maybe if I'm waiting on a video to render or something. But yeah, that's that. Game over. Roll credits. There's no credits.